Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 11th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving a look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Looking here at a pretty large C-class solar flare that ejected off the outgoing region of our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, pretty large Halo CME directed right at Earth. Right there. So that accelerated plasma stream is on its way to our planet. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Not too many sunspot regions cresting right now. Nor Earth facing. But we do have that large Halo CME now on its way. Looking at the outgoing imagery, C-class flare there on the right, and as well that accelerated sunspot that grew on the left. And that is all departing. Another closer look here at the solar flare and this halo CME in an Earth-directed fashion. It couldn't be more Earth-directed than that. Wow. Amazing images here, looking at multi-spectrum. So we have a CME to talk about, and as well, that C-class solar flare that was in an outgoing fashion. Quick look at 171 angstroms, showing the coronal holes. So we do have that one departing now. <clears throat> and then we have another one that is turning in just now. Right there. just above where we had that large CME. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, don't forget to please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me how much you love them. Looking here at the ISPA Space Prediction Spiral, this is a pretty large event on its way to planet Earth. We are the little yellow dot right here and we are expecting coronal hole wind stream to increase and then on the 14th to the 15th we will be seeing a space weather event from this large halo cme speaking of space weather events we had quite a space weather event yesterday we were in a g3 geostorm as our kp index was at kp7 And I'm pretty sure that it was from that plasma filament that erupted that I have been documenting here the last few days. KP7 yesterday for April 10th. Right now, geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind sit at 480 kilometers per second. After being up over 530 kilometers per second, Topping out 544. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 7. Very low frequency today. Quick look at the graph here. So an amplitude of 7, quality 8.1, power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes. The past 24 hours across the planet, we're going to start out here with the most recent in Fiji, Fortuna, and Wallace at another 4.9 earthquake today, but they just had a 5.2 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, pretty deep earthquake just south of there, 4.5, 508 kilometer depth south of Fiji Islands. Solomon Islands, 4.9, and then Papua New Guinea, seeing a lot of activity today. Candrian, 4.6, three of them. And as well, Indonesia, Western Indonesia, 4.7, 4.6 there, Cortez, Philippines. And then Taiwan, they saw a 5.3 earthquake, followed by some aftershocks, 5.1, 4.7. Quiet through Russia and Kamchatka, quieting down through Alaska. No major earthquakes to report there. 
quiet as well through Hawaii. Summit Caldera has not changed much. Overlooking North American plate, pretty quiet across the plate as well. 2.7 there, Oklahoma, largest being across the United States, 4.3 there, La Riviera, Mexico. And then a 4.2 here reported in Dominican Republic, Otra Branda. As well, 3.7 there, Virgin Islands. South America, way too quiet for my liking. 4.7 or 4.6 here, South Sandwich Islands region. Quiet across to the African plate as well. Europe, largest to report here is 4.5 in Turkey at a 10 kilometer depth. So all in all, pretty quiet, under 200 earthquakes across the USGS map. Quick look here at the last seven days. As it's been a quiet week, I would say. We haven't had a day where the earthquakes have been over 300 in a 24 hour period on USGS and no major earthquakes to report. Having a look at the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabancaya in Peru. Some tornado warnings ripping across southeastern United States. Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Sangue in Ecuador. As well, yes sir, Vanuatu, where all those earthquakes are. Reventador in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. And the Shevaluch, Russia, Dakono, Indonesia. Well, that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting across the planet. Quick look here, satellite imagery. Large low heading into the United Kingdom breaking up. As well, we've got another low pressure system heading from the west, bringing some extreme weather to parts of central United States right now. But watch for that to sweep eastward in the forecast. Flood alerts through Florida. And as well, we still have winter storm conditions. Northwestern United States, the Rockies. And as well, southwestern United States. Two tropical storms to talk about across the planet. As Malacas is only a Category 2 right now could ramp up into a category three in the long range, but still not really affecting land except for the Marianas Islands through Marianas Trench. Also a tropical depression over the Philippines most likely will be sucked northward into the Pacific. Now let's get to the weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, Ontario, Canada, as we've got some pretty warm temperatures coming in the next couple days, and then a big system coming in for the 13th into the 14th, bringing scattered showers, and as well some stormy conditions across the southeastern United States. Snow on the backside through Manitoba, northern Ontario as a low pressure system heads in from the Pacific as well, affecting BC, Oregon, Washington. And then as it sweeps eastward, watch for a lot of snow to fall through Northwestern United States. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you in the long range. Africa, same thing, daily evaporation rains. It could see some extreme Rainfall through Mozambique, Zimbabwe, eastern shorelines. And as well, South Africa for sure. Watching some rain move in later in the week. Overlooking at Europe. 
low pressure center through Central Europe, running into a big high pressure ridge over Russia, drying things out. No major systems affecting you in the long range. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, Philippines, tropical cyclone Malacas. This is the forecast model heading north and then northeast, just south of Japan. And then we get to Australia, down under, as we have a tropical depression developing for the 18th into the 19th for parts of Northern Territory. And that could be a pretty strong cyclone when it makes landfall on the 19th. That is a look at your weather. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. <laughs>